Did you hear about this beef? Roku YouTube beef. The last beef you ever imagined. It's, uh, it's, yeah. There's no Conor McGregor. There's no Paul brother. There's no... Uh, they should get into the ring. There's no John Jones. There's no... It's yeah. just Roku and YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, they each send one executive, and that's how... Never mind the lawyers. It would be a lot less expensive. In fact, they could make money. Yeah. Opposed to going to the lawyers and... Actually, I don't even think lawyers are involved at this point. It's just a good old-fashioned dispute. Mm. Good old-fashioned. Uh, I'll give you a rough idea what's going on. I don't know. Roku, first of all, is way more popular than you think it is. And it's about time. Yeah. We were surprised. Looking at the website at one point, it's oh, robust. Yeah. Like, it does a lot of stuff. <laughs> Let's check out the website. Hold on. <laughs> what do you really do up to today? Man? I just remember, like, we were like, holy crap, this is a, this is really cool. Roku. Right? R robust. <laughs> <laughs> what did you, what did you get mean, up it, to it, today, Will? It does a lot what of What you got up That's to today, man? We were really surprised. Yes. That's all I'm saying. No, I think what it was is I was looking at the market share for streaming boxes and just how oh, yeah. successful Roku has been. Mm -hmm. You can go on the bestseller lists on Amazon and such. I mean, they offer a pretty comprehensive product for a ridiculous price, like what, yes. $35 or like 40 bucks or whatever. Yeah. Like, what was that? Express 4K. So that's a 4K streaming device that I believe was just shown for 35 bucks. I mean, that's ridiculous. Go to models up top there, Will. <laughs> Find your Roku TV. I mean, they don't make it easy for you, but... Oh, they want to sell you a whole TV at this point. It's a whole thing. No, no, no. I just want to see the streaming devices. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Players. Yeah, so 4K is 50 bucks by the looks of it. Yeah. Yeah, HD is 35 bucks, but still it's you compare this to something like an Apple TV and it's just way more. I mean, you can get the entire sound bar for Apple TV money. Yeah, it's and baked then you in. Upgrade your whole sound to go with it and you have 4K and HDR. Anyway, it's well established. We don't need to tell people how well Roku does and how many people uh, gravitate towards it, but apparently they got into this disagreement with you. They have two separate situations with YouTube. So there's YouTube, the app, which is just like what you watch, what everybody watches. You boot up the YouTube app, let's say on Android. It's the same across Android, mm -hmm. wherever you happen to be. Then you have the YouTube TV, which is like a cable subscription, which has TV channels on it. Now, Roku and Google had two separate agreements there was something to do with how roku interacted with youtube tv and then a separate set of rules around how roku interacted with the youtube app google doesn't want anything fancy happening with the youtube app they have rules around it. you want to have a youtube app on there mm -hmm. here's what you got to do some of those things include like you can't have a universal search when you're inside the app mm. it's supposed to be the voice goes straight into google or youtube and i feel like this exists even on apple tv if i'm correct I'm trying to think of the way that it operates uh anyway they have restrictions it kind of has to be unadulterated it has to be the way google intended hmm. now that agreement is not up i believe at one point roku essentially agreed to it and said okay fine but this other agreement expired with youtube tv and roku said we're not going to even re-up a deal we're going to cut off YouTube TV, because we don't like the other agreement. We want to renegotiate what's going on with that because these are anti-competitive, hmm. uh, anti-competitive behaviors. Practices. But yeah, yeah, practices, behaviors. Roku alleges that Google is seeking anti-competitive terms. Google's demanding that if, a, this is according to Roku, if a Roku user has the regular YouTube app open, the platform cannot display search results from third-party services. So if you have the YouTube app open, and you search for something, and it doesn't happen to be on YouTube, but it is on Netflix, YouTube said that's a no-no. Mm -hmm. You see where I'm going here? Mm -hmm. Roku says that's anti-competitive. This is our whole platform. We want the user to have the ability to see where that content lives right. if it doesn't happen to be on YouTube. Yeah. 
Or if it is on YouTube, maybe it is somewhere else and they have a subscription somewhere else and they don't want to rent it or pay mm -hmm. for it or whatever. Now, Google responds saying, uh, uh, where is it over here? YouTube said its offer to Roku was simple and still stands. Renew the YouTube TV deal under the existing reasonable terms. According to YouTube, Roku requested exceptions that would break the YouTube experience and limit our ability to update YouTube in order to fix issues or add new features. For example, by not supporting open source video codecs, users wouldn't be able to watch YouTube in 4K HDR or 8K, even if their Roku device was capable of supporting it. YouTube also reiterated its denial of Roku's allegation that Google or YouTube made any requests to access Roku user data. That's another thing they said. Also, they said Google wants user data. You know, these big dogs, and I'm not considering Roku to be a big dog, even though depending where what you're comparing to, they are a big dog next to Google, they ain't no big dog. Hmm. Epic, Apple, you're seeing this stuff play out where the slightly less huge companies are saying the ultra huge company yeah. is, is elbowing me out the way. Mm -hmm. They're making it about themselves. And of course, Roku as a company, they want to differentiate themselves. Mm -hmm. They want to say... They want people to be walking around the street saying, I like my Roku device because it lets me search any platform. Yes. Well, so it's a tough spot to find yourself. So they're keep, as of right now, if you were a YouTube TV subscriber, if you decided to pay the $65 a month for that and your way that you thought you were going to watch on your TV was your Roku, you can't do it. Now, now, hmm. anyone who has the app already installed gets to keep it. It's not going to be deleted but you can't re-download it. So don't delete uh, it if you're a Roku person and you rely on YouTube TV, don't delete the app because you it's out the store, you can't get it. And anyone new who purchased one of these under the expectation that they might utilize YouTube TV features, they're in limbo now too. But I think these two can get it together and figure it out. All you gotta do is set up the boxing match on Triller, one executive each. They can pick any executive they want as long as they're in the same weight class. I would pay many dollars for it you, really yeah you stream it on roku or something yeah sure it's a robust i thought it was a trailer anyway 